So what's up everyone? Starting the vlog off today with Cedric. I here on my own today, so I got a little bit more time to do all the reviews of the car. But this car is cool. I'll show you one of the coolest things about it now. So let's jump inside the car first. I'll show you one of the coolest things. As you put your key in, seats move forward, steering wheel goes to whatever position you wanted it in last. But here's the other coolest thing. Now, if you ask me, hold up. If you were to ask me anything about this car, it'd be where does this dashboard look familiar from? Now, if, in my opinion, this looks very similar to the S-Class, the newer S-Classes. If you have a look at the way the dash is and everything, it all basically, it's just one long double display, I think. Um, this is where the navigation and everything is as well. Obviously, I'm playing around with the car at the same time as trying to show you guys around it. But yeah, look, there's a the navigation and everything there. You got the displays here. Now, I think this car is from the early 2000s. Considering this is that old, like Nissan, you should you should speak to you should speak to a Mercedes, you know, and like say, look, you just completely stole our design. <laughs> like, now I'm joking, but the car is so cool. It is unbelievably smooth, and I think I think maybe we should go for a drive. But let me show you guys around the engine and everything like that first, and we'll take it from there. So there is the V6 engine, and it is on coilovers, not just on coilovers, but it's also got the top mounts and everything changed over. The car just looks really cool. Everything on the car is so clean. That's the good thing about Japanese cars. Normally, because Japan's roads are so good, they never really get rusted or anything like that. I just had a couple of people ask me, is this like a Rolls Royce or something? There we go, and it's all closed up. Let's see, how do you open the boot? Is there a button here? Probably one inside, but... Damn, the boot is big. Hmm. I wonder what that gap is there for, that, that big sculpture there. Probably for the subwoofer or something. So as I'm heading out of here, I thought it'd be good to talk about a couple of things with the car. Firstly, it is extremely smooth. Everything about the car is just so chilled out. Oh, it's got a reverse camera as well. Man, this car is, it literally, I can, I can't believe how similar it is from the way the S-Classes are, the way it looks and everything like that. Um, to be honest, the, the other S-Class, the one before the newest one, that also did have a double display like this, but I still think this car came out before the S-Class. A couple of things about this car is one, it is extremely smooth. These are big bumps and the car's just flowing over it. Two. It's comf like the, the two the the leathers. Well, there isn't any on this car. It's all fabric. Um, now this car has the V6, um, the turbo V6. They also come in the RB26. I mean, sorry, no, the RB25 DET. Same as the Skylines and everything else. Um, that's that's so, so cool. cool. I, could, I could. I would, I would love, love to see this car, car with uh, an RB25, RB25 in it. it. Nice and through driving past. Now, with, with this car, it is what I would say very um, quirky. I think, I think when you see this car being driven, driven you no, no one will know what the hell is driving past. And I think that's just such a cool thing about the actual car. And the fact that it just grabs attention in such a unique way. I think this car could easily be used as a wedding car, and people wouldn't realize that. It's, it's not, not a Rolls Royce or anything, anything like that. that. Uh, so, so that's, that's just one really cool thing about it. But the one cool thing for me is right now is the fact that Sal has invited me over to have a look at all these cars. He has asked me to do these reviews for him. Um, 
more, it's kind of more of a photo shoot than a review in my opinion. Uh, but I've, I've said to him, look, if people want to see more about any of the cars, is it okay if I arrange for that to get done? He's yeah, more than happy to. So if anyone does want to see thorough, more in-depth reviews of these cars, I'm more than happy to do that. Let me slow down a little. It's not a slouch, that's for sure. Um, you can tell that the car's still got some weight to it, but it is not slow. And just from that little bit of a pickup and everything like that, you can tell it straight away, this car, it'll keep anyone really satisfied that wants this kind of car. Now, this is, this is the thing with Sal Motors is, I appreciate that there are other people that do actually import cars, um, different style of cars and everything like that. Um, pe people always will import cars uh, it's just the way it always will be um, Sam Motors it kind of tends to aim for more of these kind of cars um, you know so if it's something that you are looking for it's a good selection here yeah the car has been driving perfectly fine there's nothing I can complain or say wrong about this car Handles fine. Again, this is one of those things where you can't really test these cars flat out on a track or anything like that because it's not what the car's made for. The, you know, the car's never going to be made for something like that. I've arrived back to the showroom, oh well, the garage I should call it. Um, he is looking to upgrade his garage to a bit more of a showroom star. And I can see the next car has already been parked outside ready for me, which is the G35. So, I'm going to park this car up now. Find Sal and get the keys to that.